नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी वुड बी मेकिंग दीज क्यूट पेंडेंट्स दैट आई हैव नेम्ड एज गैलेक्सी पेंडेंट हेयर आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड दिस पेंडेंट इन थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स दिस इज इन एमथिस्ट विथ शैम्पीन बीट्स दिस इज इन एमराल्ड ग्रीन विथ सिल्वर कलर एंड सिल्वर बीट्स एंड वाइट कलर पर्ल्स एंड दिस इज again in emerald green color with golden beads in this video we would be making this pendant in blue sapphire color so let us see what all material do we need to make this pendant so for making our galaxy pendant we would need this 12 mm rivoli in sapphire color then i'll be using these 11 os in two colors these are muki metallic dark blue iris 11 os and these are muki duracoat galvanized champagne 11 os i'll be using 15 os in the same color these are muki metallic dark blue iris 15 os and these are muki duracoat galvanized champagne 15 os then i'll be using these pearls these are soroski pearls in lavender color this is 3 mm and this is 6 mm in size If you don't have six mm, you can also use five mm in place of it. We would also need a cup chain for our pendant. Here I am using this cup chain in crystal color. And one more thing I would like to tell you about the cup chain. Here you can see that these cup chain uh, in this cup chain the cups are slightly distant from each other. so i have this cup chain in the same size but there are two different cup chains and you can see here the two cups are slightly distant and these are uh, quite near to each other so we need a cup chain that in which the cups are slightly distant so that we can use our beads in between these cups uh, cups of the cup chain so while buying the cup chain please uh take care that you buy with these cups a slightly distant from each other this is also called the spas cup chain and in this cup chain we won't be able to use our beads in between these cups so we don't need this we actually are going to use this cup chain in which the cups are slightly distant from each other so we would also need muki thread and size 12 beading needle and also a plier this is flat nose plier so these are the material that we need to make our galaxy pendant so let's get started friends for making our galaxy pendant we would first bezel our 12 mm rivoli uh, but before bezeling our rivoli and preparing the rivol uh, bezel case for it we would need to make a ring of our cup chain here we need a ring of our cup chain as we would be bezeling our 12 mm rivoli we uh, need 14 cups in our chain ring so here i have this cup chain and i will be showing you two ways of making the ring with this cup chain in first here you can see i have i uh, in this chain i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 15 16 17 and 18 cups in my chain i need only 14 in my chain so for this i will be removing this cup from here and for this i'll be using this needle this is a bigger one a uh, slightly uh, strong so that it won't get bent while i'll be working with it so i will just open these prongs here
like this here I'll be removing this rhinestone and just open it wide like this and here I have removed this cup and you can see that I have this connector here which we need to make the ring so I will leave the connector as it is and now after this I will be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I need 14 here and again I will be removing these cups, these 3 cups from here. like this now here I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 cups so friends here I have this cup chain with the connectors at its end here one and the two I have connector at the two uh, at both the ends and here I will be connecting this or making a ring of it uh, while bezeling it while attaching it to our bezel case. So this is one way and the another way is we can make the ring in advance. So for this again here I have 18 cups in this chain. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. And as you know that we only need 14 cups. So I will be removing the 4 cups here. So for this again I will be opening this. So here I have removed the cup, this rhinestone from this cup this is the 15th cup because we need 14 cups in our chain for making the ring and here I'm going to open it wide with my nails and like this and here I have taken out my connector at this one end at the other end in this cup I am going to remove this rhinestone and attach this connector to this cup and again place this rhinestone in the cup so for this very carefully we have to open the prongs not too wide because we have to place our rhinestone back here so here I have opened it up like this and here very slight like this we have opened this and now I am going to place this connector in here like this so here I have placed the connector and now I am going to place my rhinestone very carefully inside the cup And 
hold this chain like this and with the with my nail I'm going to push back the prong and now like this very gently I'm going to close it So here we have made our ring, our cup chain ring. So these are the two ways we can make a ring. You can either make this way by placing the connector into the other one and the other way is by joining it together or you can glue these two ends up or we will be doing it directly into our vessel so in this video i'm going to show you how to use this one here it is very easy to use the ring and here in this video i'll be showing you how to use this one in the this chain in the bezel case now after preparing our cup chain we would bezel a 12 mm rivoli with raw stitch so for this i'm going to pick up four 11 o blue iris and bring them down towards the end of my thread i'm going to tie a knot here like this now hold the thread like this and I'm going to pass through all these four beads I'm passing through all these four beads and pulling in the steel in between the beads like this so this is our first component of our raw chain now for our second component I'm going to pick up three 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o through which i am exiting right now like this now i will move toward this 11 o again i am going to pick up three 11 o blue iris and pass through the same 11 o like this now i will move towards the left and into this corner 11 o like this again i'm going to pick up three 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o like this so here you can see that I have made one, two, three, and four components in my raw chain. And for bezeling, 
our 12 mm rivoli we need in all 14 components in our raw chain so we will be making 13 components and 14th would be the one that would join the two ends of this chain so let us first complete 13 components in our chain i have already done one two three and four i'll be making nine more in my chain and come back so here i have completed my 13 components one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so this is my 13 component raw chain and now i'm going to make a ring of it and for this i will bring the two ends closer here like this and now i will pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o at the other end like this again i'm going to pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o so here i have completed my 14th row component i'm going to pass through all these four beads once again and exit through the top 11 o and here is our ring we can now cut off this tail from our case now we would be making one more ring over one more raw chain over this one so for this you can see i'm exiting through this 11 o here uh, we are going to add one 11 o champagne so for this i'll pick up one 11 o blue iris one 11 o champagne and one 11 o blue iris so here you can see that i have picked up three beads one 11 o blue iris one 11 o champagne and one 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o like this so we have made one more component over this one and now i'm going to exit through this 11 o blue iris now i'm going to move this way this is the clockwise direction so i'm going to pick up one 11 o champagne and one 11 o blue iris and like this i'm going to pass through this next 11 o and this is our second raw component like this now i'm going to pass through this 11 o champagne into this 11 o blue virus and into this 11 o now for making our third draw component i'll be moving anti-clockwise so while moving anti-clockwise i will pick up i will pick up one 11 o blue virus and one 11 o champagne and now i will pass through this 11 o blue iris like this so this is our third draw component now again i will move up through this 11 o blue iris now i'll be moving clockwise so i'll pick up one 11 o champagne and then one 11 o blue virus and pass through this 11 o the top one from the next component down here and go up through this pass through this and into this and the next one 
the top one of the next component of a ring so this way we would be making a ring of these components over our previous ring so i have already done one two three four components i'll be making other components and completing this ring till here now here i am making the last component my last row component that is the 14th row component and for this you can see that i already have one two three eleven o's and as you know that we need only four beads in our row component i have three here i'm going to add only one more that is this eleven o champagne and pass through all these three eleven o's like this So here we have completed our bezel ring and now I am going to step up into this 11 of champagne that I added just now. Now I am going to pick up 115 of champagne and pass through this next 11 of champagne like this. Again, I'm going to pick up 115 of champagne and pass through this next 11 of champagne. Again, I'm going to pick up 115 of champagne and pass through the next 11 of champagne. So, so this way, I'm going to add these 15 of champagne all through this round. Now, here I'm adding my last 15 of champagne and passing through this 11 of champagne and step up into the first 15 of champagne that i added in this round so this is the look after adding the first row of 15 of champagne now i'm going to add one more row of 15 of champagne so for this i'm picking up one 15 of champagne and pass through this next 15 of champagne that we added in the last round like this Again, I am picking up 115 of champagne and pass through this next 15 of champagne like this. Again, I am picking up 115 of champagne and pass through this next 15 of champagne. like this so this way I'm going to add these 15 of champagne all through this round now here I'm adding my last 15 of champagne of this round And now I will step up into my first 15 of champagne that I added in this round. So here after completing this round, this is the look of our basil case. And now I'm going to, as you can see, I'm exiting through this 15 of champagne. I'm going to pass through this next 15 of champagne. Here I'm not adding any bead. Now in our third round of adding 15 nos we are going to make a picot stitch over here so i have passed through these two 15 nos and now i am going to pick up one 15 o champagne and pass through the two beads together like this now i'm going down through this 15 o up into one and two fifteen o's together now after passing through these two beads together again i'm going to pick up one fifteen o champagne and pass through the same two beads again 
I have done this picot stitch in many of my videos previously. So I hope you won't find any problem in doing this. Again, after pass going down through this 15 o, I'll go up through one and two these two 15 o's together and I'm going to pick up this 15 o champagne and pass through these two 15 o's together like this and then I'm going down through this 15 o up into one and two these two 15 o's and same way i'm going to create the picot stitch over the the rest of the 15 o's all the way round now here i have passed through my last pair of 15 o's and i'm creating my last picot stitch over here so i'm picking up this 15 o champagne and passing through the two 15 o's together and this is my last picot stitch. I'm going down through this 15 o champagne into this 11 o champagne down through this 11 o blue iris into this blue iris next and into this blue iris so now I have reached the back side of my bezel case and now I'm going to place my rivoli into this case very gently like this and this is the front of our rivoli now we will be closing our bezel case and for closing our bezel case you can see I'm exiting through this 11 o blue iris now I'm going to pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o blue iris and now I will skip the next one again I'll pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o blue iris and skip the next one again I'll pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o blue iris and skip the next one so this way I'll be completing this round by following this pattern adding one 11 o blue iris skipping the other adding one 11 o blue iris and skipping the other now here I am adding my last 11 o blue iris so I will pass through this one the next one and skip the other one and step up into the first 11 o blue iris that I added in this round like this now for our next round I am going to pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o blue iris that we added in the last round like this again I am going to pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o blue iris that we added in the last round again I am going to pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o blue iris like this so this way i'm going to add these 11 o champagne all through this round now here i'm adding my last 11 o champagne and step up into the first 11 o champagne that i added in this round So this is the look of our bezel case from the back side now now 
now I'm going to pick up 115 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o champagne again I'm going to pick up 115 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o champagne again I'm picking up 115 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o champagne Again, I'm picking up 115 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o champagne here 15 o champagne and passing through this next 11 o champagne and here I'm picking up my last 15 o champagne sorry this is the second last and here is my last 15 o champagne and now I'm going to step up into the first 15 o champagne of this round now I'm going to pass through all these 15 o champagne without adding any bead as we are going to close our bezel case here So here I have passed through all these 15 o's and here I have closed my bezel case and now I will pass through this 15 o champagne up into this 11 o champagne up into this 11 o blue iris again up into this 11 o blue iris up into this 11 of blue iris and into this 11 of blue iris now here after exiting through this 11 of per blue iris i'm going up through this 11 of blue iris so here you can see that i'm exiting through this 11 of blue iris just next to this 11 of champagne here and now we are going to add our cup chain here so in this video I am going to use this cup chain the open one and we are going to make a ring on the bezel case here so you can see I am exiting through this 11 o and I am going to place this cup chain like this here you can uh, you should be careful that our cups should rest on this component and this empty space should lie above this 11 o blue iris so like this i'm placing my cup over the component like this and now I'm going to pass through the same 11 o champagne sorry 11 o blue iris and I'm going to make a loop like this and tie this cup here now I will pass through this 11 o champagne very carefully we have to attach our cup chain here now after exiting through this 11 o champagne I will go down through this 11 o blue iris 
now again I will place my cup here bring my thread back here and pass through the same 11 of champagne like this sorry 11 of blue iris like this now here I am going to pass through this 11 of blue iris now I will go up through this 11 of blue iris again I will place my cup here and push my thread back here and pass through the same 11 of blue iris and this way I'm going to tie my cup chain here now I will pass through this 11 of champagne <laughs> go down through this 11 of blue iris place my cup chain here and again I will pass through the same 11 o 2 iris here we have to be very careful so now I will pass through this 11 o blue iris go up through this 11 of blue iris place my cup chain here bring this thread to the back side and again I will pass through the same 11 of So this way you have seen that I have attached these cups to my bezel case and the same way I am going to attach the cup chain here the rest of the cups to our bezel case. Now here I have reached the last cup chain and for this I am going up through this 11 o and pushing this thread back here so I have tied this now I will pass through this 11 o champagne go down through this 11 o blue iris now here you can see that we have our connectors at both the ends so here very gently we will try to bring these out here place the connector the two connectors over very gently we have to place these two connectors over the 11 o and again I am going to pass through this 11 o and tie these like this once again I am going to pass through like this So here I have tied my ring here. Now after adding this cup chain this is the look of our uh, bezel case and now I am going to add my beads in between these cups. 
so as you can see i'm exiting through this side of my 11 o blue rs i'm going to pick up one 11 o blue rs and two 15 o blue rs here i have picked up three beads one 11 o blue rs and two 15 o blue rs and pass through this same bead again and this way i have placed my beads over in between the cups now i'm going to pass through this 11 o into this 11 o underneath the chain through which we have tied this cup chain now i'm exiting through the front side of our bezel case so i'll pick up 215 o blue iris and one 11 o blue iris and again i will pass through the same 11 o like this and place these beads in between the cup chain now i will pass through this 11 o champagne and go down through the 11 o blue iris underneath the cup chain now again as i am exiting through the back side of my bezel case i will pick up 11 o blue iris first and then 215 o blue iris and pass through the same 11 o blue iris underneath the cup chain like this now i will pass through this 11 o blue iris come to the front through this 11 o underneath now as i exit through the front side i will pick up 15 o's first two 15 o blue iris and one 11 o blue iris like this and pass through this same 11 o blue iris underneath the cup chain like this i will pass through this 11 o champagne go down through this 11 o blue iris underneath the cup chain and as i exit through the back side i will pick up 1 11 o and 2 15 o blue iris and pass through the same beat like this so this way you can see that i am adding these three beads in between the cup chains and i'll be doing this all through this round now here i'm adding the last set of my beads so here i'm picking up two 15 o's and one 11 o blue iris and pass through this 11 o blue iris underneath the cup chain so this way you can see that i have added these sets of 15 o's and 11 o's in between the cup chain and right now i'm exiting through this 11 o from the front side and now i will pass through this 11 o champagne now after exiting through this 11 o champagne i am picking up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o champagne again i'll pick up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o champagne again i'm picking up one 11 o blue iris and pass through this next 11 o champagne and this way i'm going to add these 11 o blue iris in between these 11 o champagne all through this round now here i'm adding my last 11 o blue iris like this so this is the look after adding these 11 o blue iris and now i'm stepping up into the first 11 o blue iris that i added in this round now i will pick up 115 o champagne 
वन फिफ्टीन ओ ब्लू आयरस एंड वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन हेयर आई हैव पिक्ड अप दीज थ्री बीट्स वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन वन फिफ्टीन ओ ब्लू आयरस एंड वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन एंड पास थ्रू दिस इलेवन ओ ब्लू आयरस दैट आई एडेड इन द लास्ट रॉ अगेन आई एल पिक अप वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन वन फिफ्टीन ओ ब्लू आयरस एंड वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन एंड पास थ्रू दिस नेक्स्ट इलेवन ओ ब्लू आयरस दैट आई एडेड इन द लास्ट रॉ अगेन वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन वन फिफ्टीन ओ ब्लू आयरस एंड वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन एंड पास थ्रू दिस नेक्स्ट इलेवन ओ ब्लू आयरस सो दिस वे वी आर गोइंग टू एड द सेट ऑफ दीज थ्री बीट्स दीज थ्री फिफ्टीन ओज इन बिटवीन दीज इलेवन ओ ब्लू आयरस दैट वी एडेड इन द लास्ट राउंड नो हेयर आई एम एडिंग माई लास्ट सेट ऑफ दीज बीट्स वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन वन फिफ्टीन ओ ब्लू आयरस एंड वन फिफ्टीन ओ शैम्पेन एंड पास थ्रू दिस नेक्स्ट इलेवन ओ ब्लू आयरस Now, after exiting through this eleven o blue iris, I will pass through this eleven o champagne underneath. Now, after this, I am going to pass through these beads. As you know, we have a uh, eleven o blue iris underneath these beads and the cup chain. So right now, I am passing through that eleven o blue iris to reach the back side. So here, now as you can see that I am exiting through this eleven o blue iris. underneath these beads and the cup chain and now i will pass through this next 11 o blue iris like this now i'll pick up 315 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o blue iris and push this these three beads up again i'll pick up 315 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o and push the three beads together up here again i'm picking up 315 o champagne and pushing these three beads up i will pass through this 11 o blue iris just below this cup here these three sets of these set of these uh, the set of this these three 15 o champagne will push these beads in between the cup chain up so here again i am going to pick up 3 15 o champagne and push these up and pass through this 11 o blue iris below the cup chain again pick up 3 15 o champagne push these three beads up and pass through this 11 o blue iris below the cup chain so this way we are going to add the set of these 315 o champagne all through this
now here i am adding my last set of these 350 no champagne again pushing up these three beads and pass through this 11 o blue iris below the cup chain like this now after adding this last set i will step up into the first 250 no champagne of the first set that i added like this here you can see that after adding these sets of 15 nos our cup chain has been pushed up a little and now i'm going to pick up three 11 o champagne and pass through the next 15 o champagne the center 15 o champagne of the next set that is the middle 15 o champagne of the next set like this again i'll pick up three 11 o champagne and pass through this middle 15 o champagne of the next set again i'm picking up three 11 o champagne and pass through this next middle 15 o champagne of the next set again i'm picking up three 11 o champagne and pass through the middle 15 o champagne of the next set so this way i'm going to add the set of these three 11 o champagne all through this round now here i am adding my last set of 11 o's and now i will step up into the first two 11 o's of the first set that i added in the last round like this so this is the look of our pendant now after exiting through this middle 11 o i will pick up one three mm pearl and pass through the middle 11 o of the next set like this again i'll pick up one 3 mm pearl and pass through the middle 11 o of the next set again i'll pick up one 3 mm pearl and pass through this middle 11 o of the next set so this way i'm going to add these 3 mm pearl all through this round now here i am adding my last 3 mm pearl and now i will step up into my first 3 mm pearl that i added in this round now here after adding these pearls this is the look of our pendant and now after exiting through this 3 mm pearl i am going to pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this 3 mm pearl again i'm going to pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 3 mm pearl again i'm picking up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 3 mm pearl again i'm picking up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 3 mm pearl so this way i am going to add these 11 o champagnes in between these 3 mm pearls all through this round now here i am adding my last 11 o champagne and step up into the first 11 o champagne that i added in this round so this is the look of our pendant now now here you can see that i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne the first 11 o champagne that i added in this round and now i will pick up 
टू फिफ्टीन ऑफ शैम्पेन एंड पास थ्रू यू कैन सी हेयर आई एम एक्सिटिंग थ्रू दिस इलेवन ओ एंड नाउ आफ्टर पिक आई एम एक्सिटिंग थ्रू दिस साइड ऑफ इलेवन ओ एंड नाउ आफ्टर पिकिंग अप दीज टू फिफ्टीन ऑफ शैम्पेन आई विल पास थ्रू दिस सेट ऑफ ब्लू आयरिस दैट आई एडेड इन बिटवीन द कप चेन सो I will be passing through the eleven o blue iris, and the fifteen o blue iris. I am passing through only the two beads. You know that we added three here, but I will be passing through only two beads. I am not passing through the third one. After passing through first eleven o blue iris and then one uh, fifteen o blue iris, I will pick up one fifteen o champagne and pass through this fifteen o blue iris lying above this cup chain. Like this. Now again, I'll pick up. One fifteen o champagne, and pass through. You can see we have one, two, three beads. I am not passing through this first fifteen o champagne. I will pass through the second fifteen o champagne, and the next eleven. Sorry, the second fifteen o blue iris and the eleven o blue iris. I am passing through only two beads here. Like this. Now again, I'll pick up two fifteen o champagne and pass through this eleven o champagne. Like this. Now I will pass through this three mm pearl. And into the next eleven o champagne. Now again, I will pick up two fifteen o champagne and pass through the two beads here on this side of this eleven o, this eleven o blue iris and the fifteen o blue iris. Only two beads in between the cup chain. Now I will pick up one fifteen o champagne and pass through this fifteen o blue iris above the cup chain. Again, I'll pick up one fifteen o champagne and pass through these two beads, one fifteen o and one eleven o blue iris. Now I will pick up two fifteen o champagne and pass through the same eleven o champagne. So this way, we have added these galaxies, these stars here, which are making our galaxy. Now. I will pass through this three mm pearl and into this next eleven o champagne. Again, I will pick up two fifteen o champagne. Pass through the eleven o blue iris. And this fifteen o blue iris above it. Only the two beads. Here we will pull our thread. Now I will pick up one fifteen o champagne and pass through this fifteen o blue iris. Again, I will pick up one fifteen o 
again I'll pick a 150 no champagne and pass through these two blue iris 150 no and 111 no blue iris pick up 250 no champagne and go back into this 11 no champagne like this now I will pass through this 3mm pearl and into this 11 o champagne. Again, I will pick up 2 15 o champagne. Pass through this 11 o and this 15 o blue iris. Pick up 1 15 o champagne. Pass through this 15 o blue iris. Again, I'll pick up 115 no champagne. Go back into these two blue iris, 15 no and 11 no blue iris. Pick up two 15 no champagne and pass through this 11 no champagne. So here you can see that we have added the sets of these 15 no champagne and which are making our cluster of stars for our pendant. So this way I will be adding these 15 no champagne all through this round. Now here I have reached my last 11 no and here I am picking up 2 15 no champagne. And I will be passing through this set of two blue iris 11 o and 15 o pulling it tight here now I'm picking up 1 15 o champagne and pass through this 15 o blue iris again picking up 1 15 o champagne and pass through these two blue iris 15 o and 1 11 o blue iris now i will pick up 2 15 o champagne and pass through the same 11 o champagne so here pulling my thread a little tight and pushing these beads in front a little so here we have our pendant ready and now we would be adding this drop and the two ends for attaching our pearl chain or any chain that we want to with our pendant so here after exiting through this 11 o champagne I am going to pick up 3 15 o champagne, 1 11 o champagne, 1 3 mm pearl and now we will need our 6 mm pearls. So after picking up 1 11 o champagne, I am going to pick up 1 3 mm pearl, 1 15 o champagne. 1 6 mm pearl and 1 11 o champagne so here is the set of my beads 3 15 o champagne 1 11 o champagne 1 3 mm pearl 1 15 o champagne 1 6 mm pearl you can also use 5 mm pearl if you don't have 6 mm pearl and 1 11 o champagne I will pull them down. Now I will go back through this 6 mm pearl, 15 o champagne, 3 mm pearl, and 1 11 and this 11 o champagne. Like this. Now again I will pick up 3 15 o champagne. And pass through this next 11 o champagne. 
so here we have added our drop for the pendant and now I will go up into this 3mm pearl into the 11 o then 3mm pearl into the 11 o into this 3mm pearl and 11 o then 3mm pearl and 11 o so here we have to pass through 1 2 3 4 and 5 and here like this so here i have passed through 1 2 3 4 5 pearls and after the five fifth pearl i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne same way i'm going to add the set of these beads here for making this loop these two loops for our for attaching our chain so again i will pick up three 15 o champagne one 11 o champagne one 3 mm pearl one 15 o champagne one 6 mm pearl and one 11 o champagne so 315 o champagne 1 11 o champagne 1 3 mm pearl 1 15 o champagne 1 6 mm pearl and 1 11 o champagne so after picking up these beads i will bring them down here and pass through skipping this 11 o i will pass through the 6 mm pearl 15 o champagne 3 mm pearl and this 11 o champagne like this again i'll pick up 3 15 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o and the next 3 mm pearl so this 3 mm pearls lies just above this one so this is the center top center now i'm going to add the same loop here on this end so for this again i'm going to pick up 3 15 o champagne 1 11 o champagne 1 3 mm pearl 1 15 o champagne 1 6 mm pearl and 1 3 1 11 o champagne the same set of beads i will bring them down and again skipping this 11 o champagne i'm going to pass through this 6 mm pearl 15 o champagne 3 mm pearl and 11 o champagne going down here again i'll pick up three 15 o champagne and pass through this 11 o and the pearl so here we have attached these loops now i'm going to pass through all these pearls and 11 o's and again into this loop if you want to pass through this loop once again you can do it otherwise you can pass through all these pearls round here and into these two loops up here if you uh, if we take another pass through these two loops it will make them a little sturdy a little stronger to hold our pearl chain so for this i will be passing through all these pearls and 11 o's I'm not passing through this drop down here I will just pass through this 11 o into the pearl and then 11 o and into the pearl
reaching up here and pass through this these two loops that I have made for attaching the chain the same way I'm be pa I'll be passing through all these beads Again, going down here again I will pass through the second loop into this eleven oh down through these beads into So here we have passed through these two loops and now we will go down through this 11 o and tie a knot in between here in between these two 11 o's. into this 11 o into this 15 o up into the 11 o's and a couple of beads here And now we can cut off our thread so here we have completed our galaxy pendant in blue sapphire with lavender pearls so friends I hope you would like these pendants it is a very small pendant and you can attach any pearl chain or any chain a gold chain to this pendant it will look very very pretty so here we have completed this pendant in blue amethyst then we have it in green with golden beads and this one is in emerald green with silver beads I hope you would love these pendants and you would love making them and I hope you would love wearing these pendants and gifting it to your friends and family. So friends if you like my tutorial if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next video. Thank you.